Okay, hey everybody, happy Friday out there. Welcome to Facebook Live, or Facebook Friday, whatever we call it. Hey Elizabeth, um, and I saw I missed a couple more people too, so <laughs> if I missed your comments, I will go back and catch up. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. I've been off for the past two weeks. We had Maker's Mojo two weeks ago, and last week, y'all, I was just so busy. I forgot it was Friday. I literally, I had some folks messaging me and I'm like, what? What do you mean? It's Thursday. Nope, it was Friday. So yeah, I got a little, uh, <laughs> I was a little discombobulated last week trying to get a few things done, but they're done. I'm back. I'm regrouped and we're ready to party with some Stampin' today. So lots has happened since then. Um, the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog came out on the 2nd and, um, for my customers, those went out, they went out early this week. So you should actually already have them. I think I checked and I think they have been delivered. So, um, so they did go out this week, but the new annual catalog is live. So I wanted to have some fun today with new product because I mean, how awesome that we have a whole bunch of new product we can finally play with. So Oh, Carol, she says, I was concerned, so glad you were having fun. I don't know that I would classify it as having fun. I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get clubs sent out, um, getting a couple deadlines done. It was kind of crazy, but um, I was still having fun because I was stamping, so there's that. <laughs> so, so okay, so today, here's what we're going to do. Um, let me go ahead and introduce myself because I don't think I did that. Um, for those of you who might be new, my name is Anne Marie Heil. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. And you can find me over on my blog at stampinann.com. And all of the links to all of my social media will be in the description of this video, whether you're watching right now live at 4 p.m. Central on Friday on Facebook or you're catching the replay over on YouTube. So tomorrow I will post this over on YouTube as well. Hi, Terry. And who else I just saw? Is it Zaina or Zana? I don't want, I hope I'm not saying your name wrong, but welcome. I'm excited that you're here. Um, <laughs> so um, that's a little bit about me. You can find all of my um, links over at stampinand.com or on the description of these videos. I do go live every Friday at 4 p.m. Central. And if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, I would welcome you to definitely do that. Um, <laughs> I've been a bad newsletter person for the past two weeks too, guys, but life happens sometimes. But my newsletter is, or my email list, newsletter, whatever you want to call it, is I'm going to put the link here in the comments. If you're not already subscribed, I would welcome you to join. And it's just a great way for me to connect with you. And um, I send out information on what my upcoming events are, Stampin' Up! sales, um, things like that. And um, it goes out about once a week. So the newsletter will go out on Saturdays. So tomorrow, the 6th, my newsletter will go out, and what that will feature is it will actually have a free project sheet for you for the card we make today, and it will also give you the card I made on last Facebook Live, too, so you'll get two free project sheets in there, um, and then I, I send, the, the next week, my newsletter will go out on the 13th, so you'll have a second chance to get today's project and then whatever we do next Friday. So um, so you get a free project sheet that has measurements and a supply list for what we create today for some creative inspiration. And that's just my, my thank you for saying thanks for joining my newsletter um, so that I can connect with you, okay? Um, and just know, again, this video is on May 5th, 2023. So if you are watching this replay on Facebook or YouTube months later, um, and you do sign up for the newsletter, you will get a project sheet. You just, you might not get the one for this video, depending on the date. So this project sheet will go out on the 6th and on the 13th of May, 2023. And then, um, you know, it will change based on wherever we're at. So I just like to put that out there. So it's, um, I know it's probably kind of confusing, but <laughs> I have to say it because I just don't want to mislead anybody to think if you watch this video in November, you're going to get a project sheet for this because I just can't keep up with that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I have a host code here. Um, if you do need any Stampin' Up! product, I'd love for you to shop with me in my online store. Link is in the description of the video. You can also find it over at stampinand.com. And I'd be happy to help you out with that. So we're gonna do beautiful balloons today. And I've got some things to tell you. We're gonna start out with prizes. 
I did not forget. I almost forgot, you guys. And at 3.45, I remembered that I hadn't pulled prizes yet. So I did quick drawings right before I went live. So the last time I went live was, oh my gosh, three weeks ago. Sorry. Um, but we made these really pretty cards um, with the country, oh, country floral. I don't know. <laughs> so many new stamp sets have been launched since then. I can't remember the names of these, but they're really, really cute little friendship cards um, to send off to your friends. And they're just, I just think they're super, super pretty. So this was the card we made on the video. And then we made an extra um, with the same color palette and just shifted things up a little bit. So what I do, just to clarify, if you, for everyone who shares the video, um, if you share it in Messenger, send it to a friend, just leave me a note, let me know that you shared. The goal is to get more people watching us and um, so that I can bring more content to you. So for everyone who shared the video, I put your name into a drawing to win the card we made. And the winner of that card, I love the inside too, is Debbie Spicer. Congratulations, Debbie. I'm probably going to have to go back to that video and um, tag you because it's been a while. But Debbie, if you're watching, if you would please email me your address. Where's my little email card? Because I don't think I have your address, Debbie. So if you could email me your mailing address, I'll pop this card in the mail to you. And thank you so much for sharing the video. So congratulations, Debbie. And then the alternate card, I do a second drawing for everyone who um comments just just chat with me here let me know where you're visiting from i love for you guys to interact with me on the video it helps keep me going while i'm <laughs> talking to myself in my craft room and um so everybody who left a comment on that video i put your names into a drawing and gina zaremba you are the winner of our secondary card congratulations debbie congratulations gina gina I have your address. <laughs> I just sent you something this week, Gina. So you're going to get a cute little card in the mail. And then Debbie, I would love to get this in the mail to you. So please drop me. Um, you can either message me here on Facebook or you can um, email me. But I'll try and go back to that um, video and um, tag you just so you know. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to write that down. Because I don't know if you guys are like me, but if I forget to write it down, I won't do it. <laughs> so, so anywho, okay. Um, I have one housekeeping thing to tell you guys before I get started. So we are, we're using beautiful balloons today. And beautiful balloons just happens to be the bundle that we're using in my monthly club. And there is still plenty of time to sign up for that. So if you're not registered for Cultivated Creativity, which is my monthly club, um, it is a great time to do that. We're going to be using the Beautiful Balloons Bundle. So I'm going to show you one way to use it today. Um, but if you subscribe to club, you're going to get lots of ideas. And y'all, these projects are fun with a capital F. <laughs> so I'm going to do a flyby of Cultivated Creativity. So let me tell you um, a little bit about Cultivated Creativity in a nutshell. It is my monthly club. It is $39 US a month. Um, and you can subscribe for as, as few or as many months as you'd like to. But you go ahead and, oh good, Terry says I was hoping you'd talk about it. I'm going to tell you about it, Terry. Um, <laughs> so, um, so basically you can subscribe for as many or as few months as you'd like. But if you do stay with the month six, or the club six months consecutively, I do send out a gift on the six month as a thank you, which is a $25 value. And that's just my way of saying thank you for sticking with me. Let me turn this light on. Oh, there's still a glare. Um, so every month what we do is we pick a stamp and die or stamp and punch um, combo that is our focus. And then what, what I'll do is I will prep a kit for you that will have everything you need to put the projects together. What you will need though, is you will need the bundle because I can't send you any stamped images. So you're gonna need to have the stamps and dies if you want to make the projects as they're, as, they're, as they're shown. You can substitute with something you have if you'd rather do that, but you're gonna need stamps and die 
his punches, whatever the bundle is. You're also going to need ink and you're also going to need adhesives because again, I don't do any of the stamping for you and you're gonna need something to put your cards together. So over at stampinand.com, there is a tab on the top of my blog that says Cultivated Creativity. There's also a link on the video here and you can check it out for um, some information on Cultivated Creativity. I do share, there's past months, you can see some of the, the teaser photos for past months and then also it'll show you the photos photo for this month's kit and it'll it'll tell you the um inks and um anything special that we're using that you will need in addition to the bundle now you can add on the bundle to your kit as well um if you do want to add on the beautiful balloons bundles for me to send with your kit then um i can do that if you're an existing club subscriber you can just email me and i will invoice you if you're brand new you can choose that on your registration form and I see a question, Terry, how far in advance do you announce the set used for the next month? Well, <laughs> so um, I mail out the PDF tutorial. I email out the PDF tutorial on the first of the month. Registration is open until the 20th of the month. So if you're an existing subscriber, you'll get an email on the first. It'll tell you what's coming up for next month. You've got plenty of time. As long as you cancel before your billing happens, then you're good to go. But you do have to cancel before the billing happens. Once you pay, I order product for you. So that's kind of the nature of how this works. So if product's been ordered, I'm I can't I'm not going to issue any refunds. So um so definitely that's just the only thing you have to manage with it. However, since registration closes on the 20th, on my blog on the 21st, the new teaser photo will go up. So you'll know what um, what the next month is. And hey, I see Rochelle, I, my phone just told me you joined. Rochelle, I need to email you because I, please just message me or leave a comment and let me know if you did not get the PDF tutorial email. Um, you're on my list of people to email this afternoon. Sometimes it goes to junk, the, the Email goes to your junk folder, so it, that's what might have happened, but I wanted to touch base with you. I saw your name, and I, I'm thinking about you, <laughs> so so, um, so that's a little bit about Club. What it is, you get five, um, your kit will make five projects, um, four cards, and one non-card, so it might be a 3D item, it might be... Um, uh, I don't know. It might be like a treat holder or a, a, there, it's all kinds of fun things. I don't even know. It's a non-card. It's just something fun. It's giftable. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. Um, so four cards, one non-card. You get all the consumable supplies. All of your cards will include envelopes as well. And let's see. And then you'll get a PDF tutorial and shows you how to put everything together. And you get $20 a $20 up to a $20 value of consumable products to put your projects together. So maybe it's designer series paper or some ribbon. Um, it'll have what you need to make those, okay? Let's talk about this month's club. I'm gonna do a flyby so you guys can see. Hi, Tammy. Tammy says, do the club, the kits are amazing. Oh, you're so sweet. She's been doing it since February. She waits for it and she loves it. Thank you, Tammy. And for those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much. I so appreciate y'all's support, and I love putting these together for you guys. Last month's club, we used the conversation bubbles. They're all downstairs in the stack of things that haven't made it upstairs yet. <laughs> so, um, but like the month prior, we did sweet citrus. Oh gosh, I don't even know where those are. It's a mess. I'm just gonna show you what's going on this month. So we're using beautiful balloons. Let's look at some of the projects. So this is a flyby of the projects we're making. Now I'm gonna go through these pretty quick because I'm not spoil. I don't wanna spoil the surprise. So if you are a subscriber and you like the element of surprise, turn your head for a minute. I'll tell you when you can look back again. Um, but um, I'm gonna do a quick flyby. So we have this fun little card. Now this card here, I'm gonna tell you there's something really cool inside and I'm not gonna share it with you because I do wanna surprise the club members. So this one has a really fun pop-up element. Super, super cool. You're going to want to see that one. We've got this one here, which is a cute little split front card. We've got a little shaky, shaky card, which I absolutely love. We've got a little movable card. Super cute, right? And then our non-card project this month is 
a little cake holder, a cake mix holder. Look at this fringe, you guys. Isn't that fun? So super cute. And you will get the cake mix in your club kit this month because you guys know I love to put treats in your, cl your club kit. And <laughs> so there are those. And then in addition to your five projects, y'all, also on your PDF, there's a bonus tutorial. So there will be a sixth bonus project. Here's the kicker. I make that one for you. So you're going to get the tutorial if you want to make more of your own. And you should have enough consumables um, in, your, in your selection that I send you. If you want to make another one, you should be able to do that with what you have. Um, but I always, I make that one for you as a thank you. That's one of the thank you gifts that goes in there. Um, and I always tuck in some, I try to tuck in little extras too for you guys. For those of you who subscribe to club, you probably know that. I like that. It's my thing. <laughs> I have a lot of fun searching for them too. So our bonus project, I'm just going to show you has four options this month. So you'll get one of the four. So we, can, we like choices, guys. What can I say? And your PDF tutorial will have all four of the options. So if you want to make multiples, you'll have what you need to do that. So anywho, if you're not subscribed and you want to get some fun projects with the Beautiful Balloons Bundle, subscribe to Club, y'all. $39 a month shipped. That's it, guys. And you're going to have a ton of crafty fun. So... I would love to have you join me. If you have questions, message me here on Facebook, send me an email, um, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. If you need the link, it's in the description of the video or head over to stampinand.com. Click the cultivated creativity button. It'll take you over there. There's a registration button to sign up. I would love to have you join me. We are having so much fun and I can't even tell you, got some really fun things planned for the next couple months. So you guys are going to be so excited. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. I know I missed comments. Hi, Don Kathleen. Oh, Mary Alice says she loves the club. Tammy. Tammy likes the peak. Good. I'm glad. So, it, oh, oh, and if you turned your head, turn back. <laughs> I probably, I said I was going to tell you when to turn back. All right. So today we're going to make another card with beautiful balloons. So if you're subscribing the club you're going to get a ton of inspiration. And then I'm going to give you a little more today. So I don't know if you don't have this bundle. I think it's a must have. We all have birthday cards we have to send out, right? <laughs> That's why this one to me was such a key um, suite to get. So Beautiful Balloons has a stamp set, an awesome die set. There's also this beautiful... Um, bright and beautiful designer series paper that's six by six. And this has some new colors and some returning colors. I love this. Lemon Lime Twist, Pretty Peacock, Azure Afternoon, Blueberry Bushel, Berry Burst, Bubble Bath. This is such an awesome color palette. And I can't even tell you how much fun putting these projects together. It's such a happy, fun color palette to work with. And then there's also this really cool specialty designer series paper. It is... A window sheet but it has really um it has gold on it and i don't know if you saw on the project but if you're in innovative it's got silver on the other side so you can use it both ways um so this is just a really cool little suite so we're gonna make this card today ta-da isn't this a happy card don't you guys just love this first of all striped paper is always my jam it makes me happy especially when it's in a pretty color palette so we're gonna put this card together today and I'll tell you a little bit about this bundle so okay I'm gonna leave the dies out here are the dies um you know I was talking to I've been talking to friends this week and Amanda I was even talking to her last night we were talking about how sometimes it's just really hard to see the die sets in the catalog so it's nice to get like an up close look at them because those little fixture, uh, pictures really kind of don't do it justice. <laughs> so what I love about this is you're going to have dies to cut out your stamps. So you'll have dies that will cut out the individual, these individual balloons, the tassel. Um, and then you have fun standalone dies like the confetti. Who doesn't want a confetti bond, like die? Make your own confetti, right? That's fun. Hi, Patricia. We've got some stars, which you can always use stars for congratulations. Um, there's also a standalone little tassel 
a label, which is super fun and it has some confetti around it. And then this is that really cool fringe. And I love this. <laughs> I can't stop playing with this. It's just a really, really fun die. We're going to use that one. So I'm going to take that out. So I'm going to go through the card we're making today. And again, if you want the, um, my newsletter, my newsletter will have a little supply list and, um, measurement list for the card we make. So if you want to recreate this one, you'll have one that you can print out. Okay. All right. Let's get started. So we're going to go. And at the end, I'll show you another card that I shared on my blog this week with this as well. So you'll have even more inspiration. So we're going to start with Berry Burst, which is a returning color. And I love it. I'm so happy this is back. Um, this was one of my favorite colors, and I am so happy they brought it back. <laughs> Amanda says she loves the fringe dye. It is so much fun. It is fun. And you know what? Amanda made a really cool card with this bundle, too. And, of course, nothing is really within arm's reach today. So I'll have to maybe show that on the next video. But she made a cool card with it, too, with Berry Burst and Pretty Peacock together, which was oh, amazing. So we have a card base that is 4 and a quarter by 11, scored at 5 and a half. Um, if you're new here, I tend, when I do a vertical card like this, a portrait card, I have it open top to bottom. Um, I know some people feel differently. They want it to open like a book. So just know that if you like your, if you prefer your cards to open that way, just adjust your base measurement. This is for the inside, so we're going to toss it off to the side. And I've got some layers here. So I have a Azure Afternoon layer that is four by five and a quarter. And then I wanted to share this fun little um, thing, too. Because of how this card is laid out, I already did this. Um, <laughs> you could do your designer series paper at 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 1 eighth, but we're covering this section here. So I'm doing a little cheat. These are about 3 quarter inches by 5 and 1 eighth. So I still got my fun little layer, but I'm not wasting that DSP in the middle. When paper's this pretty, guys, don't cover it up. <laughs> So I just did, um, I think on the supply or on the um, little, uh, why can I not think of what that's called? Project sheet. On the project sheet, I think it has the full measurement on there. But this is just a fun little cheat that you can do. These are little three quarter inch strips. So great way to, I'm sure a lot of you know that. I'm sure that's not rocket science, but <laughs> it's still fun to share. Where is my second glue holder. I guess this is it. Okay, so next up, I have a piece of basic white that is two and three quarters by five and one eighth. And see, we're just going to fit that right in there. You'll never know. There's nothing behind there. And then I have two pieces of silver foil. Now, the silver foil is not in the catalog. It is an online exclusive right right now. So it is still available. It is just only available online. Um, gold foil is included in the catalog, um, but silver foil is online. So just an FYI, because sometimes if you don't see it in the catalog, you might think it's discontinued. It's an online exclusive. Let's use that fringe die. So get my, <laughs> maybe I'll get my new plates. Uh, let's use those because those plates are shameful here. Um, I just cracked open some new plates the other day. Um, <laughs> those plates are really, really bad. Um, oh, my laptop went to sleep. Here we go. So where's our little die? So this little die is kind of fun. So one tip you have to remember when you're running it through is um, if you place it over the top like this, and the piece that you're using is the same, it's like smaller than the width of the die, it's going to cut through and you're just going to get a bunch of little um, slivers. So to keep this kind of together, when you run it through, what I'm going to do is just kind of leave like a quarter to an eighth of an inch that's sticking out of the die so that I can have something to, so the die doesn't fall, the little fringe pieces don't fall apart. Okay, so we're going to run this through. Amanda says love plates. No, those plates are beyond love. Those plates. Those plates needed to be retired about a month and a half ago, but I'm I'm running them through till they shatter. <laughs> I'm like I was, I'm like I'm getting all my all my runs out of these. Okay, so after you pull it through, see how it kind of keeps it 
intact. So that's the only thing you have to remember. The first time I ran it through, I, I learned the hard way, but that's just a fun little tip. So we have that one, and then we're going to do the second one. And we'll save about a quarter to an eighth of an inch there. How are you all doing? Does anybody have, whoopsie, we might need a post-it. Anybody have any fun plans for the weekend or anything exciting coming up? It's hot here, guys. Like I said, I'm in San Antonio and oh my gosh, it was like all of a sudden there, somebody flipped a switch and it's summer and I don't like it. <laughs> I could use a little more, I could use a little more of that 70 degree weather, taking us in the 90s, it's too soon. <laughs> oh, those new plates made a sound. Okay, move my machine out of the way here. Okay, I'm determined not to lose anything. Hi, Susie. Well, I'm happy you joined. We, I talked about club and we did some prize drawings. That's all you missed. We're in the process of making the card now. Hello, Veronica. Terry's daughter's getting married. Oh, how exciting. And Charlotte, oh my gosh. Oh, I bet that's going to be a busy, busy weekend. Okay, we're going to start with some stamping because I'm not going to stick this down and stamp it because you know what's going to happen. <laughs> if we stick it down in the card and then we stamp we're going to, bad things will happen. <laughs> so we're going to do this beforehand. Let's get some ink pads. I, for the original card, I used Azure Afternoon, Blueberry Bushel, Berry Burst, and <laughs> Lemon Lime Twist, which is also a returning color. Guess which one ink pad I did not order in the new catalog. I've got an old lemon lime twist, but it's okay because it still works. Um, <laughs> and I brought over bubble bath because I didn't know if we could maybe, maybe stamp some confetti or something. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Oh, Gian, you were in 90s and then it was in the 60s. Oh my gosh, Gian, can I come visit you? Because <laughs> I would do anything right now to get out of the 90s. I am not ready. <laughs> Okay, we're going to stamp some balloons in Berry Burst. Berry Burst is an ink that loves to get all over my hands. Um, so I'm going to hope for the best here. This is still pretty juicy. I made a lot of swap cards with this. So, okay, we're going to stamp here. Looks good. Then we're going to stamp a little balloon. Ta-da! You always have to say ta-da after you stamp. <laughs> it makes you feel like, wow, what an accomplishment. I didn't get ink everywhere. Um, and then we're going to stamp some balloon strings with our vintage Lemon Lime Twist ink pad here. And I love that this set is photopolymer because it makes it really easy to see where you're placing everything. Ah, I, it's almost attached. It's fine. <laughs> I don't think anybody would notice that. Okay, now we can assemble. We're going to put these little strips on the side. It just dawned on me that I I ran out of stamp and seal like on my desk like 3 days ago and I've never grabbed another one. I've just been using liquid glue. <laughs> That's how my life is. Instead of going to get another one, I'm just like, I'll just use what I have. It's fine. And it's two steps away from where I am in the closet. That's what cracks me up. But you would think I would grab another one? No. I'll just mess with this one. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to pop these on the side. And you can stick out as much of the fringe or as little. Silver's, I don't want it to overwhelm the card, so I'm going to do maybe a quarter of an inch of the silver fringe pe peeking out. Uh-oh. Terry says I don't have this Terry. I told you, I told you in that message, you're going to love this. <laughs> it's fun. I just think, you know what, the reason I love this kit so, or this um, stamp set so much is that birthday cards are the cards that I make the most. And I just, you know, this is just fun and happy with the balloons. It's like you always know you're going to have to make a birthday card. So, you know, I always think a good a good birthday set you could never go wrong with. It looks like I got some ink on the corner. Where's my 
ink remover. Amanda says you need it. It's so good. I'm this is one that I'm super happy that I I got. <laughs> I mean, so th they all grow on me over time, even though they're not my maybe initial favorites. But and speaking of, I have a big box of goodies sitting on my kitchen island downstairs that came today of new catalog stuff and I had to just leave it down there so I didn't get distracted. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing an unboxing. I have to make a card. Um, okay, so now that we have that, we can just fit that little layer on the card and I love the pop of silver. It just, I don't know. I said to a friend of mine, I was like, aren't bal like balloons are just happy, right? And she, <laughs> she's one of those people who um, has a fear of balloons. I, I guess, I, I mean, I know there's a fear of everything. I didn't realize a fear of balloons was like really a thing. Um, <laughs> but she's terrified of balloons, like can't be around them. This, it's something about the sound really bothers her and the texture. Um, and she was like, not everybody loves balloons, Anne-Marie, simmer down. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I guess, well, unless you have a fear of balloons, then maybe you won't like this set. <laughs> but... Do, do any of you have a fear that maybe someone would consider, oh, that's an interesting fear. I have a fear of clowns and it is legitimate. Like some people say like, oh, clowns are creepy. No, I have a legitimate fear of clowns. Like it's, it's bad to the point. If I see a clown, I, I freeze. <laughs> I just do not like them. <laughs> so it's not good. So I, <laughs> You're so funny, Terry. Tell my budget to add your club too. Girl, in the past two months, what's a budget? When a new catalog comes out, what's a budget, right? <laughs> I don't know. No, <laughs> trust me. I'm, I'm in the same boat, Terry. I get it. Okay, so now we're ready to adhere our little layer. Do you love this Azure Afternoon with Berry Burst? So for those of you who have already know the colors, What's your favorite new color? Share in the comments, whether it's an in color, a returning color, or a new color. Um, share which one is your absolute favorite. I'm thrilled Berry Burst is back, um, but I'm gonna tell you my favorite new color that I am obsessed with right now is Lemon Lolly, and I'm gonna show you that on another card at the end. It is quite honestly the most perfect yellow. <laughs> I love it. What's your favorite new bundle? Oh. I'm glad you asked, because this is a sleeper, Amanda. I'm going to share our secret, Amanda. Amanda and I were talking about this last night, too, and we, we both just got it. <laughs> um, this bundle, I think, well, okay, there's two. I like the Crafting With You bundle simply because of the dies. It's one of my all-time, it's my favorite in the catalog. However, if you don't have a lot of crafty friends, they might not get it. And my other one... And sorry, I don't have it memorized yet. This, I think, is a sleeper, you guys. And I just got it today, and I love it even more when I opened it. It's called Darling Details. It's so cute. Super fun stamp set. The dies are darling, just like its name. There's frames in there, standalone flowers. I would have to say right now, this is probably my favorite. I just got it. We'll see what happens when I start creating with it. <laughs> so, okay, Patricia says she worked with a woman who was terrified of clowns. Oh no, Patricia, no, 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 no. I would have gotten in my car and drove right away. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it's a bad thing. I have, I'll maybe while I'm gluing and stuff, I'll if we have a lull, I'll tell you a funny clown story. It happened at a Spurs game, as you guys may or may not know. We have an NBA team in San Antonio, the Spurs, and we were season ticket holders for the longest time. And um, we went to a Lakers game, <laughs> and it was like a midday game on a Sunday, and they had all this stuff going on outside. Well, I was talking to my husband, and I was engrossed in conversation, and all of a sudden I heard a squeak, and I turned around, and there was a clown there trying to like be funny and squeak his little horn. You guys, 
I like hit him and I started crying because he scared me so badly. I hate clowns. I hate it. <laughs> I'm loving reading your comments. I'm going to have to go back and um, check out everybody's comments. I see Elizabeth likes the astronaut dies. Lots of circles. I know the astronaut dies are cool. Um, Erica and I were talking about that the other day, Elizabeth. We were looking at those dies and I'm like, I got to give those a second look. Okay, we've got our little guys stamped here. And now... I used just one of the die cut balloons. I didn't stamp it, but I'm going to. Let's grab a piece of scrap paper. There is this fun um, stamp in here that is, it's just like confetti and you can add it over the other balloons to just add some texture. So we're gonna do Azure Afternoon and we're just gonna do tone on tone just for some confetti. And this would be, this is also really cool, heat embossed. If you want to heat emboss and clear, then you could get some really fun um, texture and shine, which I think would be super fun to do. I probably should have grabbed the clear embossing powder, but we could have tried it. Um, but I just love how it just adds a little bit of detail and it's just fun. And then I die cut one of those fun little tassels in Lemon Lime Twist. <laughs> Got stuff everywhere. And we are going to put this on with Stampin' Dimensionals. <laughs> Patricia, she, she was the most level headed person, but not about clowns. I get it. I very, very much sympathize with it. It is not a joke. Like I've I've said it to people and they're like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, just you're just yeah, not a lot of people like clowns. I'm like, no, it's a legitimate fear. <laughs> It is not good. And I'm just gonna put a little spot of glue on the back here. And you can attach your tassel on the front of your balloon or the back of your balloon. Um, I think it looks nicer on the back of the balloon, but um, I'm covering up with some ribbon, so I don't think it's gonna matter on this card. And if you want to, another thing you can do, I might just put a little glue on my finger here and just put a little bit on the back of this little tassel and just stick it down a little on the bottom. And that's a little easier. Then I'll just wipe it off my hand so it's not all over my card. <laughs> so there's that. What else do we need to do? We need to heat emboss our sentiment. And I tied in blueberry bushel with this too. Again, I just think blueberry bushel, berry burst, this color combo, it rocks my socks, you guys. <laughs> I like saying little stupid phrases like that. Sorry. Um, I love them. So we're going to do some Versamark. Where's our embossing buddy? Let's get any static off of this. Can never do that too many times. Where's our scrap paper? Okay. And I cut this banner from the... Um, stylish shape dies which are my number one must have dies i just i use these all the time the paper that that um this is from is bright and beautiful bright and beautiful it's the one that coordinates with this suite okay sentiment where are you i think it's time for a celebration that just sounds like something fun right get some verse mark and I'm going to pull this down to stamp just because my phone is in the way. Um, okay. So you might not be able to see it for a second, but it's back. Um, let's do, is that crooked? We're going to find out. I'm, gonna do, I'm almost out of white. Time for a new one. And we'll... To use a pen to whack off the excess. What do you guys think? Straight enough? I think that works, don't you? Okay. Set that off to the side. Clean up. Can still stamp a few more images, emboss a few more images. We're not out yet. Oh, let me grab my heat tool. I forgot to plug it in. But it's okay. It's right here. Oh. I thought I put that on the stamped image. That would have been terrible. All right, plug it in, heat it up. Oh, we gotta get the hands. We gotta get everybody's favorite hot hands. 
<laughs> so we don't burn our fingers. Oh, I, I want to go. I can't wait to go back and read your comments about the colors, you guys, just to see what everybody's favorites are. I saw boho blue. I saw, I did see boho blue in a comment that was by, that's another really pretty color. So fun. Oh, did I get, I might have a little embossing powder stuck on there. That's okay. I'll work it off with the sand eraser. It'll be fine. Or I'll redo it. You guys know me. I'll probably redo it. <laughs> All right. So we've got our little banner and we're just going to kind of, the balloons are going to kind of be coming up out of the banner, which is kind of fun. Oh, I did get some, where is the sand eraser? <laughs> well, it's, here it is. Okay. We'll see if we can get it off with this. If not, I'll redo it later. That fixed it. I love these little sand erasers for little ink oopsies and stuff like that. <laughs> the hands, I think I got them. I think it's Simon Says Stamp. I think that's where I got these. I just like fun little crafty accessories and I had to have them. So <laughs> normally everything I do is stamping up, but darn it, those hands are too darn cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're too darn cute not to have. Um, and they come in a variety of colors too. Okay, pop this up. And they save your little, your little fingers from getting burns. So they're functional. Okay, boom. And we're gonna use some Simply Elegant Trim in silver. I don't know guys, the original card, you tell me, let's do a vote, because I tied this one too. Um, this is the ribbon, we're doing the gold version of this ribbon for club this month, but this is the silver um, trim that's an online exclusive. What bow do you wanna use? We are, um, my original card did Simply Elegant Trim, which is a little bit thinner profile, um, or we can use the thicker version of the trim. I'll let you guys vote, thin or thick. Um, Terry says club includes shipping. It does, Terry. It's all in for that price. <laughs> and it wasn't technically supposed to include priority shipping, but I just do it because it's easier. <laughs> So you guys luck out because I just like to make it easier. Okay, I'm gonna look at, we got thin, simply elegant. Okay, thinner. Okay, I think we're liking thin, okay. There's a place for the thick. I just don't know that it's on this card. With this particular card. Oh, see, okay, Veronica likes thick, thin. All right, I'm going to do thin because that's the majority, but if you prefer thick, you have options. There's another metallic ribbon, and I kind of love having another option for a metallic ribbon. I'm all about the sparkle and glitz, and I just think it adds just a little something-something. Okay, and scissors. Here we go. Pop a little... to make sound effects you guys it's always more fun when you make the sounds and because I just talked about sparkle where are those rhinestones I just pulled them where are they here they are Whew, we almost had a rhinestone emergency um <laughs> You guys, have you visited me before? I think in song. So it's it's so funny because I wanted to say that again, but sing it to the tune of Rhinestone Cowboy. It's a rhinestone emergency. Dun, dun. No? Okay. If it's your first time here, I'm sorry. <laughs> this happens sometimes. It's Friday. I'm punchy and <laughs> I get goofy sometimes when I stamp. Guys, I'm standing in the middle of my craft room talking to myself, so, you know, you got to make your own fun. <laughs> so, but you guys are here with me. I'm not talking to myself. You're here with me. Um, but 
<laughs> I want a big one there. I'm going to put a big one up here. I'm going to do a medium one down here. And I'm actually using your, my take your pick tool today. Go figure. And I'm struggling. And I normally do three rhinestones, but this card, this card needs five because it just does. I always like to do my embellishments in odd numbers though. So it can be three, one, three, or five. <laughs> it can't be four and it can't be two. Well, sometimes I've done two, but it's generally three or five. So fun. Now, the other rule is we can't have a naked inside. So let's zhuzh up the inside of our card. Isn't this card so cute? Thanks, Kath uh, Don Kathleen says, adorable card. It's so fun. It makes me happy. I just love this set. All right, for the inside of our card, I have a piece that's four by five and a quarter and another little three quarter inch strip of that pretty paper. And we're gonna do a happy birthday sentiment. Oh, my stomach growled. I don't know what's going on there. Um, what color do we wanna use? Let's do azure. Okay. And on the original card, I think I did just a single balloon, but I think we're going to do more on this card because I'm in a mood right now and I want to, I want more balloons. So we'll do happy birthday. That's where I thought maybe we could get the bubble bath to come in because we haven't used that color yet. So let me get my scrap paper and let's do... We're going to do a bigger balloon and two little balloons because, again, we got to work in threes. Karen says this is case worthy. Well, Karen, you'll have um, I think I think you're on my um, list. So you'll get the measurements and everything. I mean, I gave them to you, but you'll still get the project sheet. So <laughs> case away. Um, OK, I think we're going to do berry burst and I'm going to try and bring the bubble bath in. So let's do a big berry burst balloon. Just kind of a little bit off the card here. Um, yeah, let's just go all in. The more balloons, the merrier, you guys. And let's do a little balloon in bubble bath. And then another little balloon in berry burst. Why have one balloon when you can have three? If this is too many balloons for you, just do one. But I think it's fun. Now we need some balloon strings. There's just something about the balloons. I don't know. They just put me in a mood. Did I? Okay. I want to make sure I didn't stamp that in blue first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not connected, but it's okay. I'll just use my Stampin' Blends marker and draw that in. <laughs> so, and then I think we'll stop. I was going to put some confetti in there, but I think I'm going to stop. I think the balloons are enough. So I'm not going to have you guys watch me put that together, but... You can add as many or as few balloons as you want, and we would just stick that in the inside of the card. And you guys know why I'm not sticking it down right, because I'm going to restamp that. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's it. We're complete. What do you guys think? Super cute. Here's the original card for reference. If you're a, if you're a single balloon person, you can go with that. Or if you're a lots of balloon person, you can go with more. So how's that? I don't know if you have a preference. I kind of like them. More balloons. And my alternate <laughs> that I made, I shared this on um, Sunday over on my blog last week. And this uses Lemon Lolly, which I was telling you about. And it was for the paper players. And Susie is part of that design team as well who's watching. So Susie's seen this card. Um, but this is just Lemon Lolly, more of that bright and beautiful paper. And this one, I just toned it down a little bit. And I used... Um, the parakeet party baker's twine instead of a silver and and then this one i have confetti on the inside that's where i was going to try and put those confetti pieces in but i just stamped some little confetti and this is just 
a fun little card, but that lemon lolly is so pretty, y'all. <laughs> so, so cute. Veronica says, more balloons kind of person here. Veronica, you're my kind of people. More balloons, the merrier. <laughs> All right. So here's two looks. And then I shared everything about club this month. So if you want even more creative inspiration, and y'all, it's so fun. We've got Oh, gosh, we've got all kinds of interactive things in club this month. And I one has a really, really fun surprise inside. So check it out. If you want to check out club, I'd love to have you join. All right. OK, guys, thank you so much for joining me today for Facebook Live. I'm so happy to be back. I've missed y'all so much and I'm happy to be back in my groove again. Um, so I hope you had fun today. I hope you if you don't, you didn't love this stamp, I hope it's made it onto your wish list. <laughs> and, and if you have it, I hope it inspires you to get it out and create with it. So I hope you guys have an amazing weekend this weekend. And it's my husband's birthday tomorrow. So I guess we have to do something special this weekend. So <laughs> we'll get him taken care of. But anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Have a great, um, have a great time. And um, I will see you guys back here next Friday at 4 p.m. Central. And until then, happy stamping, you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.